Well, welcome back to Better Living. Jeremy Baumhauer is here with us now. I stand corrected. I said American Sniper won Best Picture because I went to sleep before it was over. <laughs> Let's be honest. I saw the dresses. I was out. I saw the opening number, and then I was out. So I just looked it up online before I came in here, and apparently there was erroneous information on there. On the internet, the internet wasn't the, just the accurate. The interweb was erroneous. On the computer, it wasn't right. <laughs> yeah, no, um, American Sniper got shut out. I don't believe wow. it. I, it walked away with anything, and you know, um, Birdman. Uh, which is this amazing movie. I just got done watching it, uh, starring Michael Keaton. I've heard it's really good. It's very artsy and very, it's one continuous shot. It's a style of directing. That's I think very I heard that, that there's no edits in it. There, there are. Okay. It appears that there isn't. Okay. okay. Like that is a, it's a magical trick. Um, but it's something that, as I'm telling you now and you watch it, it'll be something that you focus on. Like, I was focusing on that more so, like trying to catch where the breaks were right. on the shots. Um, but no, there's some, there's a great script, uh, great acting, and it, I think it was deserved of the of the win. Well, American Sniper has done so well at the box office. Yeah. But I think it's been proven over and over again that doesn't always translate to the award shows. Yeah, and I, there's something about the movie industry that loves movies about the movie right. industry and yeah. about the industry. They're not self-absorbed at all. And it's it's very much like Birdman is a comeback story. Yes. So yeah, if anything, I think um, like the theory of everything, which is a story about Stephen Hawking, mm -hmm. like that might have, that would have probably finished in front of American Sniper. There's, you know, um, Eddie, I think, what's his name? Eddie, Eddie Redmayne. Redmayne, one yes. best actor. Um, he did an incredible job. I mean, those are the type of Julianne Moore. Um, killed it with her performance. So they got most of them right, but I think it was boring. I think last night you're gonna find out ratings wise. Didn't do so well. They're gonna turn it off. Um, Neil Patrick Harris did an amazing job opening. Um, and it just progressively got boringer and more boring and more boring and nodding off. I nodding will say off. that I, I really enjoyed the opening number. Yes. And then I felt like there was very little, except when he came out in his underwear. I did see that part before I went to bed. Um, other than that, there was very little funny. He did a great job, but he wasn't. There was. He's, wasn't, he's good at awkward. There was a moment where he's on the stage or where he's in the crowd. He was um, having a British joke translated. And, yes. And he happened to find the one African American British actor that was on it just to like make it awkward. So those things aren't going to really help in the ratings, but what's the shame about that is if, if my prediction is true, and we'll know soon enough what the ratings are, at 11.15 last night, Lady Gaga, who I'm not necessarily a fan of, um, came on and did a Sound of Music 50th, it's the 50th anniversary, mm -hmm. and she did a tribute, like a medley of the songs. Uh, transitional piece for her. One of those performances that will go down as one of the greatest from the Oscars. So. If you haven't seen it yet, if you're one, I'm like... I'm going to have to YouTube it. I was just, It's I was five asleep. minutes of brilliant. I, it's, I can't believe it's her. She's not weird. She doesn't have that weird boxy dress on, the red gloves. She's just a person with her voice. So um, with an orchestra that's really simple, uh, she delivered. And it's, um, it's well worth you tracking down on Google to find it. I'm going to check that out. I do want to see it. Well, we talk about all these film-related things with you. Right. Because we have our own film festival here, the Tree City Film Festival, coming up soon. Yeah, the Tree City Film F Festival is something that the Sylvania Community Arts Commission does. Um, and it's a, a weekend that we hold in April, and it's uh, the 17th, 18th, and 19th. Uh, the first night is the reason why I'm here. Um, we are going to show all of the live action and the animated shorts from last night. Mm -hmm. So you saw that I think Feast 1, which was the Disney animated yes. short before Big Hero 6. I'm not, I don't know the actual name of the winner for the short um, live action. I have that in front of me. But all the nominated films will be shown on Friday night um, as a part of the Tree City Film Festival. The ticket price is $8. Um, it goes to the local arts. Um, we create our own venue in downtown Sylvania, where in the historic uh, train barn, we erect a, a movie theater. And That's it's a fun. really, really cool atmosphere. And you, we, we have the adult spirit beverages. Yes, libations. The libations are there. And um, it's, it's a great way to kick it off. Last year we did it, um, and we had a great turnout. Um, this year we're excited because we're able to pack everybody in the same venue. So we only did one night at the train barn because it's a lot of work. This year we're doing the entire weekend mm. there. So that is just the first part about it, um, of the Tree City Film Festival. We can talk about, I know you got a break. 
Uh, not yet. I, we got we got another minute, and then we'll have to break, and we will talk about the other things, the 50-hour challenge and shorties after right. that. But um, a lot of these sh live shorts that people are didn't see, haven't seen. Right. Uh, this is really an opportunity to see them because you you can't just go to the movie theater and see them. No, the closest one to see them in the theater is in Ann Arbor. So it's something that we brought together. We brought here last year for the first time. Um, and we were, you know, we're kind of testing the market. We're evolving this film festival. It's the third year, fourth year, fourth year of the film festival. So having this for the second year and to watch the response, we just want to bring opportunity of uh, movie watching that you can't normally get here in Northwest Ohio or to have original films that are created right here. So this is a great way to, uh, that we can bring Oscar caliber mm -hmm. um, material films uh, back to back and we'll show the animated portion first we, so if you, it's for families and then we'll um, we take an intermission we come back we show all the live action. I'm a little more into the animated they're all good. It's so. Um, I just think they're. I think they're fun. Yeah, I'm a kid at heart, apparently. Yeah, they, they don't. We don't have Saturday morning cartoons like we used to yeah. have. So a lot of that fills that need. But that the live action, the the, they're amazing yeah. stories, told in a very small and minute amount of time. Which I think is what makes them even better stories because it it has to be masterful writing right. to get it down into that amount of time. And you're not finding that they're stretching it. Right. You, you know, a lot of times with movies is they'll try to stretch it for the 90 right. minutes just to hit that. There's no reason. So these are great um, films that are specifically smaller in length by design. All right. Well, we'll talk more about the Tree City Film Festival coming up. Stick with us. We'll be right back.